In this lecture, we will look at some DFA problems which involves modulo operation. Okay, so it will be something like the length of the string is odd, the length of the string is a multiple of 3, the length of the string when it is divided by 5, it leaves a remainder 2, something like this. Okay, so how to solve such problems? Let's look at these problems. So first is a very simple problem. Length is odd. The length of the string is odd and let's assume again sigma is 0, 1. So length is odd. So what is this language? So this L1 is, so I can have odd length. So 0, 1, then I can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, something like this, 5 length. And it, so it's basically you can say it's an infinite language. OK, so how to represent this using automaton? The thing is, when you find that the language is infinite, you need to put some kind of loop in the automaton because you otherwise you don't have infinite memory to represent all these such things. So how to proceed with this one? So let's try to see length. Length is odd. OK, so odd means what? So length of the string L modulo 2 is equal to 1, isn't it? So I start here. I'm in the start state. Now what happens? I get a 0 or a 1. Then so count is 0 here. OK, now count has become 1. So this is C0, C1 state. Again, I get 0 or a 1. I go to C2, count is 2, 0 or a 1, I get count C3 and so on. And which are my acceptance state? This one is acceptance state C, no, this is not, sorry. So, in fact, this this C1 is odd number, C3 is odd, but it will proceed like this till infinity and I don't want this. So what I should do, I should apply some kind of loop. So I start from here. This is when I have even. So let's say C0. OK. And then I get so this is Q0. This is Q1. I get a 0, 1. Now here I had 0, count was 0, here I have count is 1, but if I get a 0 or 1 again and I put like this, let's see what happens. Again, this means what? I length is 1, length becomes 2, so count is 2. I again get a 0 or 1, so count becomes 3. I get again some 0, 1, count becomes 4. 0 or 1 count becomes 5. So you see this is even, this is odd. So Q0 you can write is this is the even state, this is odd state. So this one and we have to find the odd. So this is our acceptance state. So now you have something like the string length 0, 1, 0. So I'm at Q0, I see a 0, I go to Q1. I see a 1, I go to Q0, I see a 0, from Q0 I go to Q1. So my final state is Q1 which is accepted state. So it is accepted. So this one will tell you that if it is odd number of a string length is odd then it is accepted here. Similarly it's very easy now so if it is now this is let's say even this is odd state and I get a 0 1 I go from even to odd I get a 0 1 I come to even again and if I want even to accept even number of length strings I will put like this. 
so 0 1 1 1 so I get to this is q0 q1 okay so 0 so I have c0 I go to q1 I see a 1 I go to q0 I see a 1 again q1 I see a 1 q0 so this is even number okay so it is accepted so length 0 is done so even and odd now it is length is multiple of 3 so how to proceed with that one so length is multiple of 3 so mod w so length of w modulo 3 is equal to 0 so when now you have to see the modulo operation is periodic in nature okay because when you keep dividing a number increasing so what happens like if i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 something like this 1 modulo 3 is 1 2 modulo 3 is 2 3 modulo 3 is 0 4 modulo 3 is 1 5 modulo 3 is 2 6 modulo 3 is 0 7 modulo 3 is 1 8 modulo 3 is 2 9 modulo 3 is 0 10 modulo 3 is 1 so you see it's 0 1 2 0 1 2 and 11 it was again 2 so 0 1 2 it's periodic in nature so it means when you divide a number by 3 you will always get remainders of the form 0 1 and 2 so because any number is of the form 3m 3m plus 1 3m plus 2 okay so now let's try to proceed so our word length should be a multiple of 3 so it can be having a remainder 0 it can be having remainder 1 it can have a remainder 2 so when I get so 0 or 1 count becomes 1 okay so here I can also write it as of the form 3m 3m plus 1 3m plus 2 so I get a 0 or a 1 so nothing I got it means 0 so it was of the form 3m I got one alpha symbol I am in the state 3m plus 1 I got another alphabet symbol I am at 3m plus 2 but again after getting two a third symbol I will go to 3 modulo 3 is 0 so I go to of the form 3m plus 1 0 comma 1 I get a 4 fourth symbol I will go to so it will be 4 modulo 3 is 1 so it's 3m plus 1 4 is 3 into 1 plus 1 so I again come here I get another one so I get 5 5 is 3 into 1 plus 2 so 3m plus 2 so this way now you see there is a loop because modulo n is periodic so modulo n is periodic with period so n so 0 1 2 3 till n minus 1 again it will repeat 0 1 2 3 till n minus 1 so this w modulo 3 is 0 so now which one should be the final state this one because I want that the number string length should be multiple of 3 but if I asked you that mod w modulo 3 is 1 then which should have been it means I want that the string length should be when when it's divided by 3 it leaves a remainder 1 so this one will become the final state if it was like mod w modulo 3 is 2 then it this would have been the final state so let's try to see the final problem 